Hi, I'm Dr. Stephen Mouton, director and producer of Freudian Eyebrow. And I want to talk to you about how this movie was produced, was directed, how it was completed in the Spiff process. One of the things that we did that was different than most other people is we shot it very compressed in only four days. We shot using Fuji Eterna 250D film, 35 millimeter film on our flex cameras. Uh, which of course produce these really nice four reels ah, of uh, Freudian eyebrow film. Ah. Now, in addition to the 35 millimeter film, we also used uh, something called a K2 HD camera that was um, shot um, with 24 frames per second to mimic a uh, film feel and we mix the two together so this is a, a mixed media production and uh, we did something called the spiff which is a speed process for improving feature film uh, on the DVD there's a explanation about the spiff process and the spiff process um, involves compressing production time in order to um, improve um, uh, the impact on the environment. Typical movies, you know, they can go for many weeks and months and because of that, you know, you've got a lot of uh, uh, carbon footprints from people driving their cars back and forth, the trucks that go out, they have the generators that are used, the uh, honey wagons, the places where the um, actors go in to change and relax. <clears throat> And you've also got the waste of all the food that's cooked and the excess food and the excess paper and the exhaust. Uh, then you've also got the generators that are powering the cameras and the equipment and the lighting equipment and just tons and tons of electricity and wasted environmental impact. Well, in a spiff film, it's all compressed down to four days. And we kept in mind, how are we going to minimize our impact on the environment? One of the things that we used was uh, fluorescent lights. And in using fluorescent lights, and as you know at home, uh, typically you have a light bulb, if you change it to a fluorescent light, it's gonna be cooler, it lasts a lot longer, it's better for the environment. <clears throat> using the fluorescent lights during shooting, we were able to keep the set cool. We didn't have to draw as so much electricity, so we were able to use batteries and able to minimize the amount of electricity uh, that was used during the filming process. Same was also true with our high efficiency batteries that we used for sound and the boom equipment. And another aspect of minimizing things to just four days is it uh, produces a excellent return on the investment for um, individuals that put money into the film uh, so that they can see profits afterwards. Now, for many films, uh, money is lost during production and then lost in post-production because of the amount of time that it takes to shoot the film. Well, one of the things we wanted to do was to minimize that aspect, so at least we've got some control over it. So by spiffing a film, and this particular film was spiffed for an independent film because we had no studio backing, this was all private investment money. Um, it's a spiff I, which is for... Uh, the most extreme um, uh, way of being able to do this. A spiff eye, of course, being spiff independent, and ultra extreme is for how we absolutely minimized everything possible. Now, most films you wouldn't expect it to spiff at this particular level, but one of the things we wanted to do was to prove a fact. We wanted to go in and say, hey, we're going to shoot this in four days. We're going to do it right. So. Um, just about every day we had to deal with everybody's Hollywood mentality about, oh no, this is going to take, you know, you can't do it this way, this, we, we, gotta, we need another few hours to set up lights, we need a couple hours to go and do this, or I can't move that. Well, in this kind of film, as in the case in most independent films, you, know, you do a lot of things on your own, but with a spiff film, uh, everything was figured out to be extremely efficient. We were doing rewrites on the fly, uh, we did things that would um, maximize the effect of what we were going for, and in the end we've got a, an excellent comedy and suspense film. So I hope you enjoy the film. Uh, you'll be able to see some examples of the different types of cameras. The K2 camera, which is has almost like a skeletal like piece to it, 
that fits over a harness and then is wired out over to a Mac, uh, we have another person that's uh, uh, inputting the file. So you can see those things on the fly. We had um, a video assist with our 35mm Araflex, so uh, that made it easy to kind of see what's going on at the same time. We didn't have to wait for the dailies. And when you're shooting in four days, you really can't wait for dailies. So, uh, again, hope you enjoy the film. Uh, look forward uh, to uh, getting out our DVDs and uh, to seeing you in the film.